Hi everybody, welcome to my first YouTube Built in the Kitchen episode. I'm happy to share with you what I do to keep in shape and all the foods that I eat and um, I hope you will enjoy today's first episode. Much of what we do to acquire our aesthetics, um, the way we look, you know, get the six pack and the leanness, a lot of us try to do lots of cardio, weightlifting, and but you know, unfortunately, sometimes it doesn't work. For some of us, we have to really focus on what we eat. I'm one of those people that has to eat lean foods, foods that are super rich in nutrients and um, and low in calories. So this is what this challenge is all about. This is about teaching you that you build your body in the kitchen. You know. Yes, we have to lift weights, yes, we have to exercise, we have to do cardio, we have to do aerobics, but the, buildings, the building blocks of our body is the food and uh, the fluids that we drink. And so, today's dish, which is actually going to be my lunch tomorrow, is um, salmon, grilled salmon and grilled yellow peppers. And they have some wonderful um, health benefits, um, low in calories, high in um, fatty acids and um, essential fatty acids and proteins. So. You'll also see um, in this video the list, the ingredients, the direction of cooking the, the, the dish, and um, all the health benefits of the, of the food. So I, I hope you pay attention and enjoy. I love these yellow peppers. They're really high in fiber, and they're good for lowering cholesterol and your um, health of your colon. So good for preventing colon cancer. So cut them up into half inch strips or however wide you like it doesn't matter just get them sliced up you want to turn turn your your skillet to about a medium probably a four Quarter of olive oil, quarter Hi. cup. Make sure that heats up. Now I'm gonna season my salmon. This is my favorite part. I love to season my meat, so here we go. I'm gonna put some garlic, sprinkle some garlic salt on there. Rub it in. Don't, don't put too much because you don't want to make it too high in sodium. It already has some sodium in there, so just rub a little bit in. some oregano rub that in there make sure it's nice and sprinkled get some pesto tablespoon or teaspoon whatever you like rub it in there nice and good this is gonna get nice and crispy when you grill it on the on the skillet. Give it a nice flavor. So, put that aside. And here we go. I gotta put my take your airplane over this thing. Again, sprinkle a little bit of garlic salt, tiny bit. You don't need much. It already has some nice flavor. Some oregano. And get those water oils all in there and let it grill up. favorite kind of meat right here, fish. So, just plop it down on there. Might want to lower it a little bit, temperature a little bit, and let that grill on the skillet. 
Now I notice I didn't add any more oil because I already put all the oil, all the oil in there and the salmon already has a lot of fatty acids and oils so you don't need to add any. So let that grill for a minute. Yep. I want to see your muscles go. Just about done. It's all grilled up, taking it out, and I'm putting it on this dish here so you can see what it looks like. So all those nice olive oils and fish fats on there and just for presentation but I'm going to take this put this in my lunch container which will be my lunch tomorrow and I like to cook ahead of time prepare my meals way in advance because that's the only way I'm going to be successful so I hope you enjoyed this first episode of Built in the Kitchen see ya